An all-Oxford quarter-final in the Amateur Cup drew all Oxford to the White House grounds, or at least as many as could get in. Nearly 10,000 of them turned up, braving anything but ideal conditions to set the turnstiles clicking merrily. It's a natural, because whoever wins, Oxford City or Pegasus, Oxford will have a team in the semi-finals, and with luck, a crack at the Amateur Cup. Pegasus, the combined university side, have been founded less than three years. The City won the Amateur Cup in 1906, and have been in the final on two other occasions. A fine replay win away against Crooktown put the City into the quarter-finals. For Pegasus, here seen taking the field, all their ties have been away matches. Captain Leslie Wixon tosses. Pegasus call right, and the game is on as the City kick off. Pegasus are without international John Tanner and outside right Tony Forson. Here's Wixon, City right half. It's a close hard struggle with both sides trying to get an early goal. Here comes a City attack. They're up round the goal. There's a shot, but Brown saves. Now Pegasus are on the move as winger Sutcliffe gets going. A Pegasus forward fires in a shot, but Oki makes a fine save at the expense of a corner. That's a bad pass. City get the ball and Hughes races away, but the ball runs out. Now Potts, playing in Pawson's position, is making a fine run. City clear, but Maugham punts back into the City goal mouth, and Oki has a busy time before clearing. With the ball going from end to end, it's a good fast game to thrill the crowd. Both sides are doing everything but score, and the goalies, Oki here, are doing some fine work. Here's a hot moment in the Pegasus area. Now Lloyd centers right across the goal. Center forward Townsend heads. Sherwood deflects, but Wheeler lobs in a shot that makes Brown do a Tarzan act. But despite all the excitements, there's still no score as the players leave the field at half time. From the restart, Pegasus turn on the pressure. header by newcomer Laybourne gave Pegasus the lead after eight minutes and five minutes later Carr put them two up. Their third goal came from a nice movement which took the ball right upfield. From a good pass by Carr, Sutcliffe scored. Still game, the City are fighting a desperate do or die to reduce the odds. And here's left half Washington with a ball. He drops it nicely in the goal mouth, but the Pegasus goal seems charmed. And a fine game ends with Pegasus through to the semi-finals. Hard luck, Oxford City. Well played, Pegasus. <laughs>